Hey gang, Jason here for Wood Love Tractors, and I've got a kind of like a little new review area going on here. So uh, this will be the Dogtown Ag portion of this. Don't worry, all this rolls off to the side. We can still access the old farm. I'm with a pretty exciting thing here. So these are some pre-production models from B&B Farm Toys Green Lights, and they are the 1984 K20 with the gooseneck, and we've got two versions. Now, you've seen this version uh, as far as the pre-order up on our website, <laughs> and we finally got our hands on a pre-production version. And then uh, we've got the same thing here, but this is a blue scheme with uh, kind of this cool, silvery, chromey looking uh, gooseneck trailer. So, you know, what the heck, let's pop these out of the package. Let's just take a closer look at them and see what they look like. Okay, so here they are out of the package, guys. Now, um, just real quick, I'll kind of go over the trucks, and then uh, I'll go over the goosenecks separately, show you some of the features in case you haven't seen some of the, uh, the goosenecks before. Okay, so first up, let's just take a look at this beautiful orange truck. I uh, like the wheels on there quite a bit. They look really good. Uh, even have some tread on the tires. I don't know how well you can see that, but looks pretty good to me. Now, of course, detail is pretty spartan underneath here, but the great thing about these green lights is you do get a ball hitch because some of the green light trailers uh, will use that hitch. And um, really nice paint. I really like the paint job they do on these green lights. They look good. They've kind of got like a, they've got some depth to them, nice, nice finish to them and all that sort of thing. Uh, these trucks are absolutely ripe for customization. Uh, just great trucks for that sort of thing. And uh, they just always look good done up. Uh, I, I'm kind of, this orange and white color scheme is growing on me. I didn't particularly care for it when I saw it in the package there, but now that I see it out of the package, kind of liking that. So let's just take a quick look over here at old old blue. So, you know, it's, it's basically the same thing. Neat truck, uh, fuel door, hitch back here. Uh, again, the blue is just a great looking color. They do have an actual steering wheel on the inside. That looks good. And then also all of the windows are kind of got like some weather stripping around them. And uh, you can almost even sort of see the line for the winglet there. So that's pretty neat. Just a neat detail that they do. Grills look excellent. Got the blue stripe right down the grill. Headlights look pretty good too. And uh, all of that fun stuff. The stance on these is definitely a little bit uh, uh, kind of low rider, I, I would say, more so than even the other uh, green light we, trucks we've had our hands on, but um, nothing wrong with that, and certainly just opens up the potential for customization, I think. So um, nice looking trucks in general. Now here's one thing I'm gonna say, and I, I guess this will be my, my only, probably my only gripe about this whole thing. So here's how the fifth hitch, the fifth wheel, uh, goes into these. They actually don't, it just doesn't quite fit um, perfect in there. Now you can sort of force it in and that's fine. And maybe actually that's the way they want it. That way it's good and steady, uh, sturdy in there. But, um, I thought maybe it would sit in a little better, but now, now that I've kind of got that forced in there, maybe that's the way to have it. Cause now we can pull it. So I guess, I guess that's not even a complaint. Just, <laughs> just take what I said there with a grain of salt. Let's see if this works the same way on this truck. Ah, yeah, it kind of does. Okay, so that kind of just sort of slides in there. So that's interesting. Okay, cool. Never mind. <laughs> um, all right, so those look good on there. So these 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 goosenecks are great. I mean, if you want to haul like, a, let's say you've got a utility tractor or something, uh, you can you can haul that. Uh, maybe you've got a classic tractor. Uh, you're gonna take it to a show. Looks great up there too. Or maybe you've got a classic car. <laughs> So uh, maybe you've got a plum crazy Cuda that you want to haul around. There you go. So that's that. Um, anyway, those look great for that. So now let's just take a look. Uh, both of the trailers are identical. So I'm just going to use this one uh, just because I think it might uh, show up a little better. Now I've done a video on these before and uh, these goosenecks before. You've got stands uh, here. You know, so that it, you can set it down. These do adjust. So depending on your truck and things of that nature, you can you can adjust your your hitch height, which is really nice. Uh, the spare tire up here is a great addition. Uh, the wood deck plating looks really good to me. Or uh, I, I just it's got a nice texture to it. You can feel the texture on it. Looks, you know, from a few feet back, looks looks like real wood. So that's really nice. And then uh, this diamond plating, which uh, sits over your tires back here, looks great as well on there. 
Um, good DOT striping down the side shows up nice and well. Same thing going on in the back here. Now these ramps just snap on to uh, your your trailer. There's a couple positions. There you go. They kind of almost click into place. Like so, the down position it sort of just clicks into place. Same thing with the all the way up position. Oh, I just popped that one off. They do. They pop off fairly easy, which is you know okay, I suppose. Although uh, um, it can be frustrating a little bit. Um, not a big deal though. You know what? I think I have those ramps on backwards. I do. Um, notice my lights. The 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 brake lights should be on the outside there. <laughs> anyway. Uh, we've got some mud flaps back here. Those are just a solid piece of plastic. And then we do have dual wheels all the way around, which is nice. And then under here it says green light. And it gives the uh, the born on date here of this, uh, <laughs> of the uh, gooseneck is 2017. So that's when the gooseneck first released. Now, of course, we've had uh, these, these trucks are newer than that. And, of course, this set will be this year. So there's that. Um, I think it's a neat outfit though. I really like it. Uh, these are priced pretty right. And like I said, uh, just amazing customization potential. Here is something else I even forgot to talk about. You could make a, uh, a water trailer out of these. Obviously probably gonna want a little smaller water tank than that, but let me go grab one real quick. <clears throat> so, um, you know, if you wanted to make you sort of a spray tender trailer or something, then I probably have both of those tanks on there but you know lots of potential there for that so uh you know just different different setups different ways you know you don't just have to use it as a, a plain old boring gooseneck so i just thought um those were neat and worth showing and big thanks to brian over at bnb farm toys for sending me these uh, pre-productions over to take a look at and kind of go over um if you want some of these, I'll have some uh, when they release. If uh, I run out, uh, my buddies over at b, &B Farm Toys will definitely have them. So you have to check them out. Uh, great guys. So, boy, those colors look great. I'm just sitting back here really digging the color combination. I just think it looks nice. Um, boy, the I feel like the silver on this trailer really brings out the chrome in those, re those wheels there. So that's pretty cool. Um, neat trucks, guys. I... Look forward to seeing them. Hope you liked them. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day and happy tracker hunting.